dip it, eat it. Hi everybody, I'm Boise Thomas. Welcome to G Living and our green chef. Vanessa Sherwood. Great to have you back. Thank you. And it's the height of summer or, you know, global warming, whatever you want to call it. If things don't ever cool down again, uh, this is a really great treat to know to keep you cool on the hot days. Yes, it is. I like to have a nice sparkly little drink to have with all the wonderful raw food we've been making. Um, nice and light. Takes the place of soda. Okay. okay, no high refined sugars or anything like that. So this is a, a ginger limeade yeah. that we're going to make today. I like the ginger lime theme. Good. Like it's sort of that Asian feel. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when I was living over in India, I used to have fresh lime soda every day. Oh, so I just soda, it. water, and lime, and that yeah. was my favorite. But I've never had it with the ginger. Well, I thought, yeah, I thought, why not add a little ginger, like a ginger ale? Yeah. So, great. put the ice cups. Great. And I can sip on some of this. This sounds good to me because it's been a hot one in the studio today. Oh yeah. I'm just going to juice like half a lime in each glass. Good. You can make a whole pitcher if you want, but cool. since it's just you and I today. More for us. Right. Put all that good stuff in there. Good. And I don't find that too much lime is a bad thing, no. but it's kind of like a quarter of a glass or less than half a glass usually it gets too citrusy do you think it's i mean it's really to your own taste i mean you can just put as much or a little as you want yeah so now i just squeeze in some agave that's great and again this is to your taste okay good see really easy here hey some like it sweet <laughs> that's us <laughs> then a little ginger to add some spice and again, if you don't have this particular tool at home, what's the best way to slice up the ginger? I mean, you could mince it with a chef knife, Yeah. but it's, it's hard because this gets it juiced up a little. Yeah. Know? I don't like big chunks of ginger in, okay. in my food. Yeah. All right, cool. And it's a little, it's overpowering. So yeah. you know, I'm a big fan. You can put an extra little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> then, just top it off. I use mineral water. So it's got a little carbonation. Good. Yeah, we like a little bubbly for the nose. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it always makes you feel like you're getting cooler when you get the little bubbly in there. And then just give it a whirl. So easy. Cheers. Cheers. So tell us a little bit about, I'll take a step first. Ooh, that's a perfect, this is a perfect beverage to be chatting about the raw food movement. <laughs> so, like if you're in New York or LA, it's not necessarily yeah. the same kind of movement, right? Right, absolutely. I live in Chicago and there's not much movement there at all. <laughs> but, so, I like to experiment and go to the other coast to see what's happening. Um, I was recently in New York, checked out a new place called The Plant. It's in Dumbo, Brooklyn, and Matthew Kenny of Pure Food and Wine opened this place. Great. And he's got a bunch of um, blue-green juice bars all over New York. So, What's the typical fare there? I haven't been, I haven't been to these places yeah, yet. Yeah, he makes, so the one, the plant, the main buildings in Brooklyn, and they make all the food there, and it's mostly to-go stuff, like, uh, you know, salads and a couple of desserts and wraps and stuff, and all the juices and smoothies. And so most of the food's made there, and then they ship it out to all the other locations. Great. Yeah. And yeah. then they do, they do a great um, dinner party every Friday night, and they do something new cool. every week and they get really creative. Yeah. I was actually really impressed. And how does that contrast to what you're seeing here in Los Angeles? The kind of flavor that we fare? I think in New York, I really think New York's probably the, sorry, I spit. It's like ahead of the game. They're, um, they're really gourmet if you go to a restaurant. Mm. They really make it taste like, you know, normal food. I hate to say that, but. yeah. Just for the every everyday Joe can go and try some of this food without be so, being so blown away by like how it's prepared, yeah, how different it is. Yeah, you know, they, and they like just they're stuff. amazed at the flavors, and and it's wonderful. So, cool. yeah, LA's got more of a, I don't know, a great mix of people here. You know, there's yeah. a lot going on. So that's why we love Los Angeles. I mean, it really is an eclectic mix. And I there's like the most vegetarian raw restaurants I think are in LA. I mean, it's great for me. I could go to a different place every day while I'm here. Yeah, so. it's good. And and a, a massive infusion of Asian restaurants, yeah, which tend to be along the same par of vegetarian or 
at least mm -hmm. some other kind of fair that focuses not so much on meat and fish. Um, also in Northern California, I'd like to send a shout out to Matthew and Tiercy's up at Cafe Gratitude. And I was sharing a little yeah. bit about with you before the segment, and they have an amazing chain of um, raw, organic, it's a juice bar, it's a smoothie bar, but they also have a bunch of other different meals you can buy. And it's all based around a board game, and it's called Cafe Gratitude. And we're going to be having them on, on a show in the near future. Maybe right. you guys can concoct something together. I That'd would be love really it, exciting. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, these are just awesome. So yeah. again, we just take uh, lime juice, lime juice, agave, mm -hmm. a little bit of minced ginger, mm -hmm. mineral water, and ice. Man, I could sit. It doesn't get easier than this. I mean, really. It's and of great. course, people can add stuff to it if they want, right? Yeah, you can add anything. You can you can experiment with flavors. You can use lemon instead of lime. You yeah. can you know add. Any spices that you want? A little gin, a little vodka. <laughs> sure. If you want to. Not my if you bad, go that way. Yeah, sure. Right on. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much. And Thank thanks you. for the kind of uh, topographical raw scene. Just had it looking at the map of the states here and what's happening on each side. Yeah. Awesome. Nice we'll All see right. you next time. All right. Very cheers. good. Cheers. And cheers to you. G Living, Green Chef. And that's a little